First things first, the famous developers of all the Ori Microsoft exclusive games, they've been making a somewhat new approach in action RPGs since last year with a new title going by the name No Risk for the Wicked, which I've mentioned many times before. It's an action RPG inspired by the Diablo series. The game is a precision-based single and online multiplayer that will offer four-player co-op eventually. The game just went on and got delayed. It's now coming out in the second quarter of 2024. Available in early access since last October, coming out fully by mid this year, although it's not suited for all players. Number two, we've got over here a game simply called Beast, which is not purely an action RPG, it's an action RPG inspired, turn based, gothic horror RPG with permadeath mechanics and an actual story. I mean, it's a somewhat adult rated game, but with pretty mild gore, super well told story, and a linear gameplay. Check it out in case you missed it. Been in development for almost four years now, Last Epoch is finally coming to pieces in its full version, February 1st this year. It's a typical classic dungeon crawler, but it actually combines a Diablo formula with a bit of time traveling option, which is a pretty interesting concept if you ask me. Well, not only that, this game at the moment offers the most diverse character class option in its own genre. Anyway, the company that released it worked without a new trailer for it too. Trans. 
Titan Quest is now getting a long-awaited sequel mixing the ARPG formula with Greek mythology, as it was the case with the previous iteration too, but then using Unreal Engine 5 this time with their new game just simply called Titan Quest 2. A month ago, THQ Nordic came out with that announcement, mix of both the cinematic and gameplay, promised a much larger character customization option, new classes, and a more varied multiplayer too. So much more. A godlike greatness. But the gods had other plans. Retribution. Show them no mercy. Staining their strands with darkness. If Ziri could see this now. Ugh, disgusting. Been almost a whole year now, but finally, Path of Exile 2 received a brand new gameplay trailer, where we learn it'll be a seven act story, which is gonna be releasing alongside the original game as opposed to replacing it. And not just that, it'll feature better visuals, items, and more gameplay options and mechanics. That being said, the game is coming to PCs in the next generation of consoles only in the next few months. The stench, it's getting worse. Available on Steam through a demo coming soon. This is, uh, by the way, from the same folks who previously made the not so famous game Liberated, that was another platformer. We've got here yet another new game, a go by yet another fantasy title, or Yaft for short. You become a rogue in a fantasy action adventure on a quest to kill a dragon. It's a absurd comedy action RPG here, mixing medieval time stuff with the modern world. Check it out, the game is coming to PC soon.
Immortal Crux, on the other hand, is another brand new action RPG which has been in development for almost two years now, but resurfaced yesterday with a release window of 2024 into PCs exclusively. It's an action RPG classic, as you can see, it's in the medieval world where a loner with a party of up to four players will explore a frozen land, take on quests, meet new folks, and survive brutal combats, as you can see. Take a look. Job, you bastard! I hate Ditrake and his shitty robots! Number 9, we've got over here Beat Slayer, which is a roguelite hack and slay game where instead of just being in the background, the music takes the center of the stage. It plays a female protagonist called Maya, who happens to be a music fanatic like me, like you, doing whatever her passion is, just battling hordes of robots in a dystopian 90s inspired Berlin. Try this game on Steam with the demo, the game is coming out fully on April's full. I'm sorry, four. famous developers of the old How to Survive series. Number 10, we have a new game over here called Welcome to Paradise. We're basically another survival multiplayer game, but the premise over here is rather different. So you don't kill or defend yourself against zombies, but actually capture and then turn them into work material. You capture them and just teach them how to farm, fight, you don't kill them. Anyway, it's a pretty good game, a better concept. It's coming out to PCs and next generation of consoles on February 29th. Lots of work to do. Alright, Brian? After all, life always finds a way. Released literally earlier today, he's sitting on Steam with super positive scores. We've got over here a game called Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Technically, it's a single player survivor like auto shooter, kind of like the alien shooters, except it's way more smoother with survival mechanics and all against hordes of lethal aliens that look like they've been coming from the StarCraft universe. Anyway, here's a trailer. The game is set to be released out of its early access by the end of the year. Smoothies with this. Heads up. Once again, coming from the same creators of the famous game Dead Cells, at number 12, we've got over here the folks new work going by the name Windblown. This is another fast action, roguelite, that lets you alone or in co-op become the ultimate killing machine as you enhance your skills and master your weapons in search of that single perfect run. Anyway, uh, here's a trailer, the game is coming to PCs sometime later this year.
coming as its developers first work, we have reason to believe in development for almost three years. We've got another Diablo style action RPG classic here going by the name Battle of Darkness. The game has every bit of elements of a Diablo, with boss fights, you know, souls like elements, randomly generated enemies and weapons, skill trees, and all that in the mix. The game is coming to PCs only within 2024. Revealed almost the same time now last year. What we've got over here is a co-op action roguelike game for 33 players. Simply called 33 Immortals, or developers describe this thing as a experience where you pick up and raid matchmaking while cooperating with your allies to survive against hordes of monsters and massive challenging bosses. You'll see, this game is coming to pieces in Xbox Series X only late 2024. Available through early access and a demo since July last year. Last but not least, if you missed it, then we've got another action RPG, of course. Actually, a bullet hell hack and slasher going by the name Death Must Die. The game is a PC exclusive, coming out fully in 2024. Hopefully, after a couple of delays already, we've got a new trailer for it just yesterday. Hope you